Hi, this is Melinda and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to resize images using the open source application paint.net for Windows. And this demonstration is with paint.net version 3.5.5. I have an image here of my granddaughter and it's a very large. If I click on the image so that it's selected in Windows I can look down here on Windows 7 and see information about that image including its dimensions 3296 pixels by 2196 and I see that the file size is 1.84 megabytes now that's a pretty big image to upload to a website so before I upload it to my blog I want to optimize it so that I can save storage space on my blog website. To give you some perspective if you're not used to measuring in pixels like 3296 pixels wide here, pixels on your monitor are typically not more than 1440 if you're using a widescreen display. When they're viewing a web page in terms of our campus.lvn.edu blog sites, probably sizing this picture to about 600 pixels wide is going to still be plenty big enough for people to enjoy the picture without being so large as to consume all of the storage space on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and um, close this window and open this picture up in paint.net. So here we are, we have our picture open in paint.net and again down here in the bottom of the status bar we can see exactly how big this image is and resizing it is actually quite simple we'll simply go up to the image menu and down to resize and the nice thing about this particular software is I can change either the width or the height and everything else will adjust proportionately for me so that I don't end up skewing the picture so I'm gonna go ahead and make this 600 pixels wide notice that the height automatically adjusted to 400 pixels. The other thing I'm going to change is the resolution here. Right now it's set at 480 pixels per inch. Computer monitors typically display 72 pixels per inch. So having all these extra pixels, this extra image information, only makes the picture larger on a computer screen than it needs to be. So let's go ahead and set our resolution down to 72. Now that we have our width and height adjusted. I'm going to click on OK, wait for the image to process. Then it's simply a matter of doing a save as because we don't want to save over the original large picture, we want to keep that one. So I'm just going to call it by the same name and we'll just call it smaller. Now when you're saving a JPEG it asks you for quality settings and it may be difficult to see in this video at a quality of 50 which is what's considered medium um, you start to introduce some graininess and artifacting into the image and I'm going to drop the quality way down so you can see what happens when it's way way down but it looks kind of fuzzy and grainy and the colors start to break up because we've already uh, manipulated the size of this image in the software I'm going to set the quality all the way up to 100 because I don't want to introduce any artifacting and click OK. Now that the picture is saved let's take a look in Explorer again at the saved copy and see what size we have. So here we are in Windows Explorer our original w image here at 3200 pixels and 1.84 megabytes. Here is our resized image now at 600 by 400 pixels and notice that we're now only 242 kilobytes. So we are about one eighth of the original size in terms of file storage space on the computer. If I double click this to open it up in the Windows Picture and Facts Viewer, we can take a look at the picture, there we go, at its full size and resolution and see that this is perfectly acceptable for most website applications and probably larger in many circumstances than what you'll actually even use. So that's how to optimize photos using paint.net. Simply open the picture in the software and then from the image menu select resize. Adjust either the width or the height making sure the maintain aspect ratio box stays selected 
and drop the resolution down to 72 pixels per inch. And then when actually saving the picture, if it's a JPEG, you're going to set your quality up to 100 so that you don't introduce any additional artifacts. Thank you.